Time to talk politics. Republican John Hostetler faces a strong talent challenge from Democrat Brad Ellsworth over in the 8th Congressional District. Our 8th District voters ready for a change. Jim Shella looks for an answer today in the first of a series of reports we call Hoosier Voices. Jim is live in the 8th District now with a preview. Jim. Dave, we're here to look at one of the three Indiana congressional races that is among the top 20 in the country. We're at DePaul University in Greencastle. Greencastle is one of the secondary cities in a district that includes Terre Haute and Evansville. The district has become known as the Bloody Eighth because close and negative races are common here. Republican John Hostetler faces a tough challenge every two years, but has been sent to Washington by the voters six times. Democrat Brad Ellsworth leads this time, according to the 24-hour News 8 Indiana poll, 44 to 40. But this is the closest congressional race in the state. It may also play a role in determining which party controls Congress. Tonight on 24-hour News 8 at 6, we'll look at how the 2006 race here is different from previous races in the Bloody Eighth and how it's not. We'll talk to voters and a political expert or two, and we'll even tell you about efforts to create a debate here between the candidates that so far have been unsuccessful. Who's your voices tonight at 6, live from Greencastle? Jim, it seems to me uh, you'll get plenty of opinion there, but this is one of those that also gets a lot of national attention. Isn't that right? Oh, that's right. We're seeing millions of dollars spent on advertising in the 8th District coming from national Republicans and national Democrats. As I said, this is one of three targeted races in Indiana. 15 seats, a swing of 15 seats could give Democrats control in Congress. Three of those seats that they hope will bring about that result are right here in Indiana. And of course, the Republicans doing everything they can to hold on. Look forward to your report tonight. Thanks. Jim Shella. From now through Election Day, 24-Hour News 8 will bring you political analysis from the voters of the key races that everyone's watching. 24 Hours News 8's uh, Hoosier Voices will uh, air every week. We'll begin with a look at the 8th Congressional District. That's a battle between Republican John Hostetler and Democrat Brad Ellsworth. 24-Hour News 8's Jim Shella joins us live in Greencastle. Give us a look ahead to your report, Jim. Scott, we're on the campus of DePaul University in Greek Castle, a Republican community in a district represented by Republican John Hostetler. But talk to some of the voters here, and you'll find that some think change may be needed come Election Day. National and international issues look to be big factors in the 8th District race. At the Red Leaf Creativity Shop on the town square, we found some women concerned about things like the war in Iraq. They're also bothered by the negative tone of this campaign. Based on what we heard here, both Republican John Hostetler and Democrat Brad Ellsworth have the opportunity to sway voters in the final weeks of the campaign. I hate your rallies you get together and Democrats are wrong and the Republicans are wrong and everything's bad and I feel like that you need to see some good in everybody because it's there. Everyone says this is a year where the Democrats are going to do better in the congressional elections that they've been doing, and presumably that's going to have some flow-down effect here. And according to the 24-Hour News 8 Indiana poll released last week, Democrat Brad Ellsworth has a 44 to 40 lead. The voters will help explain why this is the closest congressional race in the state. We're back at 6 with Hoosier Voices. Live in Greencastle, Jim Shella, 24-Hour News 8. Tonight we hear what Hoosier voices say about the closest congressional race in the state. Our voters in the 8th district where Republican John Hostetler faces Democrat Brad Ellsworth ready for a change. 24 Hour News H Jim Shella is live in Greencastle to sample the mood. Eric, this is one of three Indiana districts targeted by both Republicans and Democrats in Washington. It is one of the places where Democrats need to win if they are to take back control of Congress. Right hand side of the next and you inside the, the Red Leaf team. Creativity right. Center on the Let's town see. square in Greencastle, the race between John Hostetler and Brad Ellsworth is a hot topic. I vote for the person, not the party. In the middle of a class on crocheting, instructor Shirley Schlatter expresses dissatisfaction so you with the incumbent Hostetler. He makes promises that I don't feel he fulfilled completely. Down the block, Leslie Hansen says the 2006 race in the district known as the Bloody Eighth is different from the last two campaigns. 
I think there's more interest now than there was before, and I, I don't understand why. It may have less to do with Hostetler or challenger Brad Ellsworth than with outside factors. I think the national wave is what's going to determine Hostetler's face, not fate, not what happens here in the district. Discontent with the Iraq war, gasoline prices even though they're going down, uh, uh, concern with the economy in general even though some of the barometers are good, uh, a lot of folks uh, aren't necessarily sure that they believe that that's the case. In fact, back on the square, the discussion has turned to the war. It affects how we live. It affects what we see on television. It affects how we think. Shop owner Brenda McCullough isn't sure how she'll vote. Not yet, because I could go either way. Efforts to stage a debate here in Greencastle are so far unsuccessful. Organizers say Ellsworth is unwilling to take part. His 44 to 40 lead reflected in last week's 24 hour News 8 Indiana poll could be a factor. Live in Greencastle, Jim Shella, 24 hour News 8. Okay, thank you, Jim.